the next thing that we want to know over here is we have learned about the read watch and the select from the provider package so here you can see context that read and we also have learned about the select and also about the watch so the next thing that we need to learn is when to use which one so which is the uh, right one for you so let us start with the context.watch first of all and using this context.watch you just have you just watch the whole pro uh, the the provider right so the things that are providing you that you want to watch it and whenever anything changes on that particular and the things that you are watching it will rebuild your whole widget so this all will be rebuilt so any anything changes on this one so currently we are using a uh, change notifier over here uh, you may be using other things over here but uh, the the thing is that whenever anything changes any value on this particular uh, notifier changes then your whole widget will be rebuilt over here so this is useful that when you want to rebuild your widget tree whenever anything has been changed on the uh, the notifier that currently you are using and if you go to the change notifier so which means that any value changes over here right so any any value of any field value changes over here you just want to rebuild your whole uh, widget tree uh, where is that one yeah so here so this is the one that it will rebuild your widget whenever any value changes on our uh, the change notifier that we have so let's move on to the next one that we have it's a select so the select is really useful uh, when you want to watch a specific field in your notifier so currently we have a employee notifier over here and let's say you just want to watch this one or this particular list of the employee data you are not interested on any of this or let's say that you don't want your widget tree to be rebuilt whenever any value of this particular field changes right so that is uh, really useful because that will save a lot of time uh, and your memory consumption and also it's a uh, resource hungry to watch all of this right so it's really good that we just want to select a particular field in our notifier and then we just want to watch it so whenever that specific value changes then only we are going to rebuild our widget over here otherwise we are not going to trigger any rebuild if the other value then this particular loading and this particular uh, notifier dot the employee future changes we are not going to rebuild our widget over here and the next code we will go to the read over here so the read basically means that just read it you don't want to watch it all right and um, if you take a look over here obtain the value from the nearest ancestor provider the, the type of the t which is our change notifier and it says that this method is the opposite of the watch which basically means it will not make the widget rebuilt right when the value changes and cannot be called inside the state state uh, list widget that build or the state dot build widget on the other hand it can be freely called outside of this method so if this is uh, incompatible with your criteria consider using the provider of context and listen to the false which is similar to the context dot read and um, it doesn't it does the same thing but without this added restriction but unsafe so the things that we need to know about the read is it is useful when we want to call certain callback function so it should be called this should be only used inside the callback function let's say your button click or you have a, um, the gesture detector that you want to when you click on or when you tab on something you want to call a certain function or you want to trigger something so the read is really useful it is not going to rebuild your widget it's just going to call the function inside our change notifier so it doesn't it does just go and call our function that we have set up over here and it's not going to rebuild any of our widget tree it's just the opposite of the um the words that we have previously learned right and uh, you should be you should not go and use it inside the build context which which basically means that you are actually add 
add employees over here and in the add employee you are actually calling the context that way it's perfectly fine over here it, since this is also a build context if you go and take a look that it is mentioned that you should not call this particular right uh, do not call the read inside the build if the value is used only for the event so um, it doesn't mean that uh, you cannot call something like this because when you call the add employee it is actually going to make use of the read read that context that read over here right this is perfectly fine the the meaning of that one is do not go and do something like this over here so if i go on the build over here and if i say final do something over here which is of equals to and then, then i just paste it over here and just remove this one this is perfectly valid you can actually go and uh, read this particular notifier and later on here something you go on press and do uh, something over here dot and you call the uh, kid employee or you call the create employee right so this is not a good way of that the meaning of that one is do not create inside the build context in this way right and uh, otherwise it is perfectly fine to have call inside your your uh, but button press you can actually also do something like this and just copy this one and uh, let's go over here and actually you can just go and call it something like this yes, this is also perfectly fine just make sure that you do not call it inside over here and then just read the whole change notifier over here and then later on the button press you just to do something dot create employee so that that is the thing that it is prohibited as of the documentation has mentioned right so make sure you always read the documentation and what are they actually trying to say just trying to um, read reading the documentation makes it much clearer right so if you go over here and you have a nice beautiful documentation the you see that do not call the read inside the build if the value is used only for event so you can see that it's, it is saying that final counter context that read and it is reading the counter but uh, it is not and inside the the button it is calling counter that increment so this is the bad bad way of doing that they are actually mentioning it so just go and read the documentation more about the read and it is just the opposite of the um the watch right and, and then it's really useful that uh, when when you should be only calling like in the button press or something that you want to trigger an event so whenever you just trigger some events then you want to use that particular uh, context that read or also you can use the provider that off so um this is just a way of showing that actually you can use the context that read over here that's perfectly fine just but i'm just trying to show you how we can you use it in a different ways and, and then uh, if you go to um, let's go to the employee notifier i think the context that select which basically means that you just want to select a, a particular field or listen to the particular particular field changes and then whenever the value of that particular field change you want to rebuild it and the watch means that you're watching the whole of your change notifier over here and then um, whenever the things changes then you can actually go and rebuild your whole of your widget over here right so i hope you got the idea over here like when to use which one and uh, which one to use it for your application so we have learned about the watch and we have learned about the select and also we have learned about the read right so these are the three things that basically we need to remember whenever we are working with the provider so uh, that's all and uh, we'll meet up in the next one till then have a great day